This project all started when our museum found a rare bottle of beer from the late 1800s in the old cellar below the brewery. This is it. And we were allowed to take a sample from it. No one believed it was possible. And to everyone's surprise, we actually succeeded in isolating live brewing yeast from this old bottle. Got really good news, we found the yeast in the bottle. And that gave us this completely unique opportunity to rebrew the first quality lager in the world. If it wasn't for the contents of that old beer bottle, we wouldn't have the consistent, excellent lager beers that we have today. And the rebrewing project is incredibly exciting. This project is for sure going to be a big challenge because we want to do it the authentic way. It is possible, but nothing should go wrong. Exactly, we only have one shot. Yeah. If this goes wrong, we cannot redo it. We have only one batch of raw materials. The yeast that we collected and recultivated from the old bottle is from the time 1883 where the method of purifying yeast was developed. And it all happened here at the old laboratories of Carlsberg. One of the most important advances ever in the history of beer science. Without it, we wouldn't have uh, a type of beer that is now 90% of the world's market. But instead of patenting this discovery, Carlsberg's founder, Jakobsen, gave away the purified yeast to everybody. Here we got a letter from a grateful Dutch brewer. He writes, We are very grateful for the initiatives of the Carlsberg Laboratory. And he ends up saying, Your friendly offer to send me yeast again, I accept with gratitude. Being able to go into the archive at Carlsberg and recreate that original beer is very exciting. And I can't wait to taste it. I love the idea that you can go back and reproduce something that your great grandparents we're drinking. I really look forward to, to get a sip of history, to actually have this beer in my glass and go back in time. <laughs> <laughs>